Happy Holidays everybody and welcome back to my channel. No, it's not right after Thanksgiving. It's literally the weekend after Halloween. No judgment. No judgment. <laughs> I have always said that I've worked very, very hard for all my Christmas decorations and I want to enjoy them more than just for a month out of the year. So I decided that this year, the weekend after Halloween, I was gonna put up all of my Christmas decorations, which is exactly what I'm doing. And I know that I just look gorgeous right now, but I have a bum foot at the moment. I have, I think it's called hypertension tendonitis, something like that. I'm supposed to be wearing a boot, not wearing it yet don't come for me but I am gonna be wearing a boot for like two weeks so I decided you know what instead of just sitting around doing nothing I am going to go ahead and put up my Christmas tree now I actually have the rest of my decorations like up and all over the place but I will show those off at the end of the video I'll kind of give like a living room tour because that's really the only room that I have decorations for at this point so I'm gonna set you guys up I'm gonna put on a little Christmas music for you to listen to and we're gonna to get to decorating that tree Well, the Christmas tree is done for 2018. It is decorated and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of an overview of my living room. And again, this is just with the decorations that honestly I could find. And I say that because I think there's some stuff missing because like I have magnets and a couple other bits and bobs that I cannot find. So. There might be some stuff added, and I might be going to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I might be making a trip to Hobby Lobby soon. So, let's check out the finished overview of the living room. So, I'm going to kind of go around and tell you guys about a few, a few things around the room. So, I'll kind of show you a little bit close up. So, we'll start here at the door. 
there's this little door hanger because let me just tell you most of my Christmas stuff came from my parents it was like those few hand-me-down things that you know when my mom's replacing stuff I couldn't bear for her to get it rid of because I just remembered it so well so I borrowed it I, I didn't steal it she was getting rid of it but I also have already put up my Christmas wreath so that's right there and it's kind of got the gold and the, the pine cones and the green and that kind of the green not the not the green but like the you'll see when I get over to my tree you'll kind of see the theme for the tree here's just another little thing it's a jingle bell stocking again it's something I couldn't bear to bear to part with and then I always have a little Christmas candle I, I put that scent out yesterday and I was so excited and then I have a little Charlie Brown that's what Christmas is all about Charlie Brown I think Brandon got that for me Brandon did you get that for me I can't remember and then that's it for the kitchen because I can't find anything else I don't know where everything else is and then I have just a little teeny tiny snowman he just hangs out there over the tree and then on the couch I have that little Christmas frog that I will not start because once you start him he, he croaks um, jingle bells like croaks it not sings it croaks it and he just won't stop and then I have the t I added the two red pillows and then that this is like a blue velvet snuggly blanket it doesn't really match any of my decor but it's so darn soft that I couldn't get rid of it and then on my coffee table trunk um, I have this thing that has Santa on it as you can see and I just put the I just put all the notes in there and then over on the table I have my little thing and this usually has candles or stuff in it and I just have another cinnamon candle and I have a couple of Mickey and Minnie um, figurines I am eventually going to have a full Mickey or Disney tree I should say so there's a couple of Disney ornaments on there but they're kind of hidden in the back because when you open the windows you'll be able to see the tree so those are back there because they don't really go with the color palette but eventually when I get a bigger place I'm gonna have a dedicated Disney tree okay so moving on so we'll go to the TV next we'll kind of double back over here so again these are just things that my parents had um, and then I just kind of borrow things I couldn't get rid of except for that snow globe. This snow globe uh, my dad actually got for me um, on one of our last trips to Pigeon Forge because I have loved snow globes. Snow globes and um, nutcrackers which you'll see in a minute. And then this is the TV setup. I really want to get some garland. That's kind of my main reason for wanting to go to Hobby Lobby is to get garland or something to go underneath that TV because it just needs something but this is probably one of the most decorated areas of my house besides my tree so on my top shelf we have my snowman that belonged to my mom that I couldn't have her get rid of and the other frog and then the frog is sitting on a Christmas box and then on the second shelf and again I, I do leave a couple of things of the old decor up there on the second shelf this is kind of like my white clear section um, so I've got just some snowmen and or I got Santa Claus figurines I have a nutcracker figurine and then we come down to this shelf which is a lot <laughs> the painting is new I didn't have this last year but this right here <laughs> so I got that at painting with a twist and every time I saw that reindeer it just made me laugh belly laugh and we went in there for my birthday I think it was my birthday trip this year and when you go when it's your special occasion they let you pick out a painting that the instructor did because they don't sell the instructor well, they sell the instructor paintings unless it's a special you know special day for you so I had seen that more than once and I had to get it when I saw it, it it made me laugh every time but this is the rest of my collection of nutcrackers so we have just the traditional one and the pirate one because I live here in Tampa and I just love pirates and then I have a bunch of different nutcrackers down there I have the one with the penguin on top of his head and then just some other colored nutcrackers that I've collected and then down here in the floor is a snowman 
made out of a wooden block that my parents made. This used to be the old theme for my Christmas tree. It was like a silver gold, like winter wonderland theme. So it was white. It was a gorgeous tree, but it was just a glitter bomb and I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> So I said peace out to that theme and I got the theme that I have now. So second to last thing before I show you the tree, um, my stocking is down, down there, but then this is kind of like my, hold on, let me turn the light on just for this part. Um, this has some very special things on it. So we have a couple of uh, manger scene figurines and then this is probably my absolute number one favorite thing for Christmas. This actually belonged to my grandparents and my grandmother put it out every single year and when she passed away that was the one thing i wanted i begged begged practically for this manger scene and i was gifted it by the family so this is actually every year this is the very first thing that i put out i always clear the shelf off to put that manger scene up and then I just I didn't even realize that I did this I always take my pictures down but this is a picture of me and my cousins with my grandfather when we were little and it's at Christmas Day so I was like well why don't I just put it over here because it's at church hello and then I have a Christmas box up there and then we'll turn the lights off so you guys can kind of get an overview of the tree um, with the tree again it's kind of done in like greens and like reds but not like shiny reds see how these are like muted that's the kind of red that I have and then bells there's a bunch of different bells on there in those muted colors and then my favorite thing for trees is turtle doves these are my absolute favorite ornaments and I actually collect them if I can find them turtle doves are very very difficult to find. I can't even begin to explain how difficult they are to find. And the ones that I usually find are like glittery and shiny like that, which is not bad. It's just very bright. So I have a few muted ones, but this was actually my very original ornament, my very original turtle dove, and it's my favorite ornament. It's one of my favorite. It's well, it's my top favorite ornament, but I have a couple of favorites. So that's that's one of them another one is this one again i told you guys i love nutcrackers and this is my uncle drosselmeyer um, ornament from the nutcracker he was the person that actually quote unquote created him and then i have my little nutcracker bulb and then let's see where are the others um oh here's something very very random it's just a little like trumpet I don't know why I have always loved this. It was on my old tree or my parents' old tree. And then again, there's just more turtle doves kind of all buried in there. And then I got a key. This is the only kind of Disney ornament that's out because of my love of keys. Most of my necklaces have keys on them. Uh, this was the first ornament that I bought when I moved to, uh, to Florida. But then there's some, some Disney ones back there. And then I have my little so that is it this is going to be Christmas 2018 from here in Tampa Florida again like I said I'm probably going to be adding more stuff as I get it but again this is kind of a process so every year I'll just be getting a few more things and a few more things so thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful holiday season and I'll talk to you soon bye